Mission District, California, March 23rd, 2037, AP Newswire. Security staff police officers attacked an abduction of viable human clone embryo from AlphaGen Laboratory in San Francisco. According to Mission Police Captain Frank Chavez, up to 30 armed individuals swarmed the facility after security gates were rammed by a semi-trailer. Eyewitness reports indicate the attackers were familiar with the facility's security protocols. Captain Chavez confirmed that the embryo had been abducted and its whereabouts were unknown. Religious groups picketed the laboratory in recent years following the 2033 decision by Supreme Court justices to grant AlphaGen Group consent to create the first cloned human. In January, AlphaGen CEO Jason Lee announced the creation of a viable embryo cloned from an unknown male donor. An AlphaGen spokesman declined to comment on reports of multiple fatalities or the placement of a religious text at the scene of the abduction. Two, this text is to be diligently stored in the archives of the Curia as strictly confidential. It is not to be published nor added to with any commentaries. Christoph Novak, Magisterial Prefect, Rome, June 2045. The, the debate surrounding the child in Father O'Driscoll's care in the diocese of Galway and Kilfenora has led to factionalism within the church. To prevent this factionalism developing into an existential crisis, the magisterium is compelled to issue the following guidance. It is only in keeping with his true nature that the human person can achieve self-realization as a unified totality. And this nature is at the same time corporal and spiritual. No man by himself can arrogate to himself the right to create a unified human being. Uh, the origin of human life has its authentic context in the act which expresses the love between a man and a woman. Man's divine lineage can only be inherited through the reciprocal self-giving of his male and female parents. The Bible does not support the view that God creates a new soul, ex nihilio, for each child conceived. For God's creative work ceased on the seventh day, Genesis 2.2. The spiritual dimension of man's nature must therefore be inherited from God through his parents. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image, Genesis 5.3. The magisterium's conclusion, therefore, is that entities created through artificial parthenogenesis or cloning cannot and do not possess an immaterial aspect. Three, to Big Sis, from Laura, subject. Hello from the Rotary Club in Delhi. Date, 20th September, 2057. Hey Lucy, hope everything is going well on the Gold Coast. I'm doing great. Delhi is amazing. I'm so sorry I haven't written until now. I've been so busy with everything. We're working with local orphans, and literally as soon as I got off the bus, I had to get teaching. The kids are wonderful. They have so little, and yet they're so happy. I know it's a cliche, but it's totally true. I'm teaching a class of girls. They're all super sweet, and they're teaching me some Punjabi, too. They're really touchy-feely, and they're in awe of my blonde hair. They always want to touch it and braid it but I got nits, nits! Oh my God, I met a guy too. He's the most perfect man I've ever met. His name is Seth, he's Irish, from Galway, I think, but he doesn't look Irish. He's got the physique of a Californian surfer. Total god bod. He's super smart, he has a double master in theology and philosophy from Fordham, and he's a Catholic too, yay! He said he was raised by a priest and wanted to join the order, but he couldn't. He knows his scripture too. Mum and dad will approve. Last night, we had a really long chat about atheism and belief while the rain was belting down. He was saying that if you knew you didn't have a soul, what would guide you morally, and why would you be good? He's super intense like that, but I don't mind at all. <laughs> we're going to go and visit Sacred Heart Cathedral on Sunday. It's bright red. Hopefully, we get to see some elephants, too. Anyway, they're going to switch the 7G off in the city soon. Tell mum and dad I love them. God bless. Love and light, Laura. Four, if I am capable of love, this letter is for those who have loved me, Laura Rossi and Fintan O'Driscoll. Laura, if I am capable of love, I loved you. 
We met shortly after I discovered the reason the church would not accept me into the priesthood, and thus my true nature. The few short years we had together were the closest I can ever hope to come to experiencing the everlasting happiness that will be your reward. Please accept that my leaving you was an act of kindness. I am incomplete. I will not compound the mistakes of others. Father, you raised me to follow the teachings of our Lord and to accept the doctrine of his temporal messengers without question. How we both wish you had not fulfilled the duties entrusted to you so zealously. I have tried to follow your example by denying the magisterium's verdict and renouncing loyalty to the church, but it is impossible. I am a mechanistic entity created by technological hubris. The crook does not become a scepter of its own accord. If I cannot serve as God's agent on earth, I must accept that his design for me is as his instrument. A simple tool created for a single purpose, to punish those who presume to act as God. If I do not have a soul, I am incapable of sin. Do not pray for me. Seth O'Driscoll, Galway, June 2064. Five, uh, Santa Monica, California, June 25th, 2064, AP Newswire. Breaking news, LA County coroner and medical examiner records open verdict in death of former Alpha Gen CEO, Jason Lee. DNA evidence recovered from the weapon used in the shooting of disgraced tech chief Jason Lee does not indicate the presence of a third party at the time of the shooting. This contradicts earlier ballistics reports, which suggest the presence of an assailant or assailants. More to follow.